Hey guys, today we're going to be doing autocorrect in Python in five minutes. So let's start the timer. Ready? Go. First thing we want to do, make a bigram function. So create bigrams. Uh, we want to pass in a word and then we're going to return a list of the i and the i plus one elements. So word at i plus word at i plus one. Okay. Um, let's see if that runs and here we go. What happened? Bigram. Ah. Okay, so now that works. Um, cool. Let's do our second function, which is get similarity ratio. And we're going to take in two words, uh, word one and word two. Uh, and then what we're going to do, we're going to say word, we want to make both of them lowercase. So we're going to say Word one, word two is equal to word one dot lower, uh, word two dot lower. Okay. Now we're going to make a common element list and we want to create our bigrams. So bigram one, bigram two is equal to uh, create bigram of word one. Uh, create. Okay. So now we're going to loop through our uh, bigram one. So for i in range uh, length of bigram one, uh, what we want to do is see if there is a unique element, right? So we're going to try to see the, oh, I said the unique, I meant to say common. We want to see if there's a common element. And so we're going to say common element is equal to what? It's equal to uh, if bigram two has an index of the bigram one at the I element like that, if that works, we want to append the common element to our common list. But if it doesn't work, it means that it was unique, it was unique. And if that's the case, we want to say, uh, continue, which will just take us through the next iteration of our I loop. And finally, we want to return the ratio of our common to the biggest bigram. So Max will choose the biggest uh, bigram to. Okay, so let's see if that runs. Great, that's what we want. We want 0.66. So now uh, let's do auto com correct. So now we're going to say auto correct. Uh, we're going to pass in one word. Uh, we're going to have a database. Um, but we're going to default that to just Falcon and then uh, Dragon. Uh, but you can put a lot of words into here. So because sets can work with large pieces of data. And then we're going to have a similarity threshold, which is how we're going to base our decision off of them. I'm just going to put up 0.5. Uh, so now what we're going to say is it's a max function, like a typical max algorithm. So we're going to say, max sim is equal to 0, 0.0, which is the lowest to begin with. And then the most uh, similar word is just equal to the passed in word for now. And then we're going to loop through the word, the data word, the, the database word in our database. Uh, and then we're going to say um, the current similarity of what of the current word to our passed in word. So word to data word. So that's the current similarity. And then we're going to say if the current similarity is greater than our max similarity, uh, what do we want to do? We want to say the max similarity is equal to the current similarity. And then our most sim word is equal to what our data word, right? Data word. Um, okay, and so now we want to write a ternary structure. So we're going to say return what we want to return the data word. If what our max sim. Yeah, uh, no, no, sorry, I said data word, I meant to say most sim word. Uh, because that's what's mapped to the max sim. Um, so I'm gonna say our if our max sim is greater than our sim threshold. Um, but else return the past in word because I didn't know what it was like the computer didn't know. So we're going to run that. 
get similarity is not defined. Get similarity ratio. Falcon, yes. Uh, except we want to write Falcon. Okay, now it's Falcon. There we go. And in five minutes. All right. Thanks, guys.